Alright, what's going on guys? Try back again. I'm going to bring you another video. This video is going to be talking about The Walking Dead Season 4, the new writers and new showrunner Scott M. Gimple. Okay, so those of you who don't know at this point, uh, The Walking Dead Season 4 will have a completely new showrunner. Uh, we went through Frank Darabont and then Glenn Mazzara for seasons two and, and or the end of season two and three. Kind of like they did a season and a half each, and then they're both out. And uh, now Scott M. Gimple is going to be doing uh, season four. That being said, um, we also have two new writers that are going to be in the uh, the writers' room, uh, in which The Walking Dead season four is actually probably um, starting. I would say maybe about I would think halfway through the writing process or somewhere near there, uh, because they start filming in May. So actually, it's pro they're probably wrapping up the uh, the writing probably pretty soon. I would imagine for the season. And then, of course, we'll start filming it at the beginning of May, roughly, once they get everything together and all that. So the new writers are Curtis Gwynn and Channing Powell. Now, as well as um, Matt uh, Negret, um, and then, of course, Scott Gimple has been promoted to the showrunner. Now, Curtis Gwynn and Channing Powell, um, I don't know anything about them, to be totally honest with you. Like, looking them up, Channing Powell, let's see here what... Uh, what uh, they've done um, White Collar TV series. Um, let's see. I think that's about it. Maybe some other things, too, that aren't really listed here. Curtis Gwynn has done um, The Grid TV series, uh, Fat Guy Stuck in the Internet. Interesting, <laughs> interesting title for a TV series. Um, and then he's written a bunch of other things, too. Animal Practice, Death Valley, Hot Package. Just a bunch of different things, but I'm not familiar with any of them, same as the uh, Matt Negrette. So I guess we'll have to see how that all works out and, and how they are. I imagine they're probably pretty good. Uh, they've got lots of experience, so that's good. Uh, Scott Gimple is actually one of the ones, too, that I think a lot of people might be worried about because he does, he's never done this before. He's kind of stepping into the role uh, for season four, but... That being said, he was the one that wrote, so I'll go off the episodes that he did of The Walking Dead. He did uh, This Sorrowful Life, okay, one of the best episodes we've had, I think, one of the best ever. Clear, which, as you guys saw my video yesterday, I think is the best the best Walking Dead episode ever. Hounded, which is, again, another one of the best episodes of Season 3, I felt. 18 Miles Out, which I loved. That was also written with uh, Glenn Mazzara. Um, pretty much Dead Already which, again, one of the best episodes there is, and save the last one. So he wasn't around for season one, but uh, he was around for, for the rest of it, season two and three, and now going to be for four. So I'm pretty excited for what he's going to bring, because when I look at all the episodes that he's written or worked on, you know, I love them all. They're all some of my favorite episodes. Like, none of these were weaker episodes. Hounded was not. Clear was the best. The Sorrow for Life was amazing. 18 Miles Out, you know. Save the last one, pretty much dead already. Save the last one is the one where Shane uh, turns on Otis. Uh, so that's a fantastic episode, I felt. Um, pretty much dead already, again. It's the Sophia thing. He, I'm pretty sure that was his idea. Um, so, I mean, it just, just amazing work, I would say. So uh, this does make me even more excited for Season 4 because when you have someone like this that's worked on things like this and you've gotten such good quality... I tend to think that season four, if he's going to be, you know, being the showrunner and everything like that, it'll probably be even better than season three or any of the others, too, because everything he's worked on is just amazing. So uh, that's really good to see. I'm sure they, they probably saw his work that he's done on the show so far and um, as a result gave him the position. Otherwise, they probably wouldn't have given it to him. I think he's pretty brilliant with a lot of the storylines and plots that, uh, that happened in these, these different episodes here. I mean... His work on the character of Shane, Shane in the comic books is very one-dimensional. He's very one-dimensional. And uh, Save the Last One, pretty much dead already, 18 miles out. Those episodes right there that Scott Gimple did, or at least had a part of, um, a bit, uh, you know, a, a major part in, those really formed the character of Shane in the TV series versus the comic book series uh, in a lot of ways. I mean, those are the core Shane episodes right there, I would have to say. Uh, Hounded as well, another amazing, clear, amazing, and then This Sorrowful Life, really, really good. I just like the way he writes. I like his style. Um, 
all of these are fantastic. So it does make me even more excited for season four that he's going to be, you know, in charge there. I, I think Glenn Mazzara did a really good job, but he has some weird things with with Glenn Mazzara. I think he uses music too much, to be honest with you. Like in season three, and you saw this a lot in season two. Uh, I liked his usage of, of music, but in season three, I think he took it a little bit overboard. Every ending of an episode was like a music video, <laughs> and, and there was a lot of them I did I didn't like. Uh, a lot of songs that were chosen and stuff like that. Now there were some good ones when it was on. It was on, like for example, um, in in Walking Dead season two, uh, Shane's episode uh, where they have um, uh, Y Oak Civilian. That's that's an awesome. That's like Shane's song right there. So in some cases, it does work. But I felt like in season three it was it was a little bit too much, too much of the music and stuff like that. Now there's a lot of different things too as well, and I'm not sure if he's 100% to blame with that. But it does seem like it to me. I mean, he doesn't do the score or anything, but it does seem like it to me because back in season one they didn't have that like at all. I can't remember, maybe a little bit, but not very much. So anyway, uh, I'm excited for season four now that he's going to be uh, he's going to be writing it and you know and and being a showrunner, be a part of it. Of course, Robert Kirkman will still be a writer, too, as well. So that that's always good. You can't go wrong with that. And uh, I've got high hopes, man, especially when I look at these episodes that he, that Scott Gimple did and getting to see where he's going to be going with, uh, with Season 4. I think it's going to be great. I think it's going to be really great. Anyway, let me know what you guys think of those episodes, what you think about uh, what we can expect to see for Season 4. Um, there is a video out. It's called, um, let's see, um, A Look Ahead. So if you want to just look that up on YouTube, look up The Walking Dead Season 4, A Look Ahead. It basically has a lot of the you know important people involved with creating The Walking Dead TV series, including Scott Gimple, Gail Ann Hurd, who's been a producer on the show since it started. She's been great as well. And basically uh, some of the actors, Robert Kirkman, talking about Season 4 and what we can expect to see. So that's something, uh, if you guys are interested, I could do a review of that, get my thoughts on what each person says and go over that if you're interested. Um, but I just wanted to do this video talking about the writers in particular since that is what's happening with the show right now. Is it's being written and everything. And also the big shift in the uh, showrunner because it is a big deal. You know, Frank Darabont, Glenn Mazar, and then of course Scott Gable. I hope he stays on the show for at least a couple years and I hope that um, he produces episodes and almost all the episodes are as good as the ones that he's done so far. Because I think that would make the show even more popular and, and everything would be even better. Because there are there are a few weak episodes here and there in The Walking Dead, I think. Um, but not the ones he's written, that's for sure. Anyway, um, I'll call it here. That's it for this video, guys. I'll see you for the next one. This is Trev, and I'm saying peace. Plus, let me know uh, what you guys think about it. Later, guys.